<clears throat> as I come home from school, I sit down, relax, and grab my vinyl records. Taking Beethoven's Symphony No. 9 out of the record sleeve, I am in for a treat. I go into the kitchen to make some pour over coffee with the finest beans that were hand picked in Guatemala. Then, grabbing my guitar and playing all the scales that I could think of. As I finish my paradiddles on the snare drum, my arms start getting weaker and feel lighter. It is time for the night. The symphony starts as I move to tears. My collection of china starts to rumble and the antiques start shaking. I hop on my Steinway and unleash my inner rebel, playing at a decibel so loud that the neighbors from a few miles away would definitely call the authorities for noise complaints. The house shaking in emotion and the neighbors shaking in fear. The symphony ends with the first movement so satisfying to the ear. It is so spectacular it's moving me to tears. I parade around the house since McDonald's is the fine wine to a child prodigy. My favorite meal is a fatty food so pleasurable to the taste buds. I dare say that In-N-Out fails to deliver the sheer joy that a Happy Meal could bring to any child at McDonald's. And even though I like a sophisticated and luscious lifestyle, sometimes you need to make a compromise to keep yourself in check, just to keep a bit of your human element by your side. I rush to the door, swing it open as fast as I can, and I put my McDonald's down on the sideway. This seems very disorderly, as there are many piano scores thrown all over the place. Stravinsky, why don't you sit down on my lap? Stravinsky, my cat purring violently, <laughs> digs his claws into my jean pocket. You're a good boy, Stravinsky. Even though sometimes you seem jealous of others, and there I say, envy others' fortunes. I am doing the best. You know that, right? This is my pen. In a very recent time in a familiar land, lived the bull. This bull was not your average, graze on grass, becoming rambunctious towards the color red type bull. No, this bull was once human and cursed to live a life as an animal for all of eternity. Now it is still unknown why he is cursed and what led to his melancholy demise and monstrous form. However, the ignorance of most is truly what overshadows this man's fall from grace. You're late, and when I say you show up at 11.55, that means you show up five minutes before. You know, Mikkel, cash runs the world, and you're starting to cost me the amount of money to lease my new Lamborghini. He seems very nice, doesn't he? The bull, well, he ran a record label, and the artists he produced helped him bring in a whole load of money. However, the way that people were starting to change made a huge impact on his returns. No one wanted to be with the bull anymore. They knew that they could make a living off being an independent artist. And Mikhail, who still was controlled by the bull, knew it was his turn to break free. Writing was his way of rebelling against the bull's industrial corruption. Mikhail took to his notebook and he jotted down whatever came to his mind. Increasingly angry towards the bull, he wrote a song to tell him his anguish. So Mikhail went to present his song to the bull, and the bull angrily pounded his fist against the desk, firing Mikhail from his label. Mikhail, at his lowest point in life, had no source of income, but decided to convey his message of how greedy the bull was to the masses. He posted his song to several streaming services, not only to watch the growth of his song skyrocket, but it was amazing for him. He was getting the attention he wanted. Soon, however, life seemed to be too good. The cash flow was starting to get to Mikhail's head, and in the way of his family's relationship. Then, he soon realized that he became what he feared, and the amount of power he had led to urge to want more and more soon becoming more insensitive to normalcy. Mikhail, living by profits before people mindset, realizes the root of all evil is not money, but greed. And the fact 
that living a life to get rich is not bad. When you put your earnings before people who helped you to get there, or you didn't tip the waiter or waitress, life definitely has a way of getting back at you. So, do not let urges of greed control you or decide your fate as it decided the fate of Mikhail.